No Anita either? I don't know. Her car was over there. Are we there? Yeah. I call this meeting of the Madison County Election Commission to order. Um, Commissioner Dickinson is going to lead us in prayer. Let's bow our heads. Lord, you told us, ask and ye shall receive. This morning, we ask you to support all of us in continuing to strive to be true public servants, offering our efforts without regard to party, to assuring that our elections are free and fair and provide real service to our communities. We call upon you to continue to engender in all of us a true spirit of teamwork. We have been blessed with this spirit throughout the year and pray that this blessing will continue in the days to come. Finally, we pray for health and healing for our families and for all the families we serve, but especially for our friend and colleague, Commissioner Lacey and his family. In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Ghost, amen. 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 Attention, salute, pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We had already been notified by Commissioner Lacey that he would be unable to attend this morning. He's out of town for medical reasons with his family. And uh, our attorney is going to uh, uh, use the notes that we make here this morning because he had a family conference also. And so we'll go ahead and begin looking at our agenda. Okay, okay. All right. Um, we are looking at our minutes from our October 13th meeting. And these had been circulated to everyone uh, to uh, get your input and your approval. Uh, do I hear a motion for the minutes? So moved. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, motion passes. All right. We'll come back to Ms. Ray. Um, she had a parking lot full, so she may be being just delayed. Let's go down now to item six, which is the uh, request for purges by district. And the time frame there is listed as October the 7th through November the 4th. And district one? 29. District two? 26. District three? 25. District four? 25. And district five had 41. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Second. Lauren? Uh, made the motion. Dan seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, motion passes. Now we have the inactives for this same time period. District 1? 10. District 2? 6. District 3? 14. District 4? 37. District 5? 20. Okay, do I hear a motion? I make the motion. All right. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. Okay, now we are moving down to old business. And uh, we have two voters listed that have been on our permanent absentee list. Uh, do you want to speak to them, uh, District 1? Uh, yes, um, I got in contact with them, and they are no longer. They're deceased. Okay. So we are going to uh, remove them. All right, they will come off our permanent absentee list. Uh, if we get a motion from Helen, okay, is there a second? Second. All right, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. Is there anything else under old business that we need to address? Thinking if none, let's move on to new business. Um, we uh, have as listed as number A, our training that will come up in January. The dates are January the 18th through the 21st of 2022 in Biloxi, Mississippi. This is uh, the required training by the state of Mississippi to certify us as election commissioners. 
And so I need a motion to uh, send this forward for approval from the Board of Supervisors. So moved. Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. And then um, District 2, would you address the name change for B? District 1. I meant District 1, excuse me. Uh, yes, the New Life Baptist Church uh, sold their building, and I have gotten contact with the pastor, and we're changing the name, and he has uh, said that he would like to keep it a precinct. So Spence uh, has sent him a lease agreement. So I talked to him yesterday, and he's presenting that lease agreement to his board. So we should have that shortly so we can present it to the Board of Supervisors for approval. Okay, all right. And then um, we have worked up a tentative calendar for next year. Thought maybe we'd go ahead and put that out today. If it's on a purple sheet, if uh, y'all would look at that. We have listed as the three purge dates that we need to have and um, they are different than the Wednesdays of our normal meeting date. But uh, we could uh, approve this as our calendar. Uh, Helen went ahead and checked with uh, the um, calendaring person for the boardroom here, and it is available on these dates. So we could go ahead and, and set our 2022 meetings for this time. Pat, Pat I have a question. On, on the May meeting, we list a section of the state law, I believe, 2315-153. Mm -hmm. What's that all about? That is the one that you have before. It's a purge day, just like the others, but it's a purge day right before the primary. Okay. <laughs> and Good. so that's why it's set then. And I had suggested that we don't meet in June and November because we are so covered up when we are working with the election that it makes it, to me, hard to squeeze in a monthly meeting. And I just wanted to bring that to everyone's attention, if that would suit. Uh, we could, if anything came up, we can always uh, sure. uh, notify with a timely uh, special meeting request. But usually we're always... Uh, you know, is there any legal sense. requirement that we meet every month? No, there is not. Okay. That sounds like a good idea then. Okay. Well, do I hear a motion that we consider this our uh, 22 calendar? So moved. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. And I have found out uh, with one of my precincts, and so I want to bring it up as new business because it just happened. But uh, the precinct known as 314, which is Victory Christian down on Old Canton Road in uh, Madison, has been sold, and the property uh, doesn't uh, belong to MRA anymore. And uh, so um, Supervisor Steen and I went and talked to the people at uh, Ridgecrest Baptist Church, and they have agreed to have the precinct located there. Oh, that'll be great. That's at uh, 7469 Old Canton Road, but they have much more parking uh, on site plus across the street. There's a traffic light there that would help with the ingress and e exit of people coming in to vote. They offered up the foyer, which would be uh, a great place to put the, you know, the tables and then the scanners and all those things where that we would be able to work in yeah. the front part of the church there. So. I think it's going to be a great asset to have us have that precinct, and we will send out uh, new voter registration cards to everyone so that they'll know that will now be their new precinct location that, that after like it's approved by the supervisors. But uh, we hope to have that on their agenda for this coming Monday. Sure. So um, I don't think that needs a <clears throat> motion, uh, but I'll entertain one. Uh, just to have it covered that we're going to send that forward as a uh, moving of that precinct. I make the motion. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion passes. All right. Uh, I talked with our attorney and he didn't have anything to update us on for today's uh, meeting. <clears throat> and so we'll start with uh, District 1. Uh, none. District 2? None. District 3? I don't have anything else. District 4? No comments. 
District 5 is out and excused. All right. Um, are there any other uh, comments that need to be made before we go to number 11? <laughs> Hearing none, I will entertain a motion to adjourn until our December meeting. So moved. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor?